Had a good question today from an Articulate Storyline user regarding how to create an effect like this where the learner can click on each of these three sticky notes and as they do that, the word no or yes appears on top of the sticky note, kind of as a way of you know, answering the question that appears on the note, but also as a way of giving feedback to the learner about the, you know, the content that they're interacting with. And this is super easy to do using something in Storyline called a visited state. I'm going to show you how you can do it. So here we are in Storyline, and I've already added my, you know, content to my slide. So these are just shapes, these sticky notes. You can come up to the Insert tab and use the Shape tool and choose Rectangle and then just draw it on your slide. Then you can use this little green handle if you want to rotate it. You can also come up here to the Format tab and give it you know, a specific fill color. You can add a shadow if you want, which is what I did. Um, and then you can also select the shape and type right in the shape itself to add some text. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is add the visited state to each of these three sticky notes. And your states panel, once you select your object, is going to be right down here below your slide and every object that you add is always going to have a normal state, but beyond that you can add additional states if you like. And you can see I've already added a state here called hover, and that's what I want the object to look like when the user hovers their mouse over it. Now we're going to add another state called visited. So to do that we're going to click on edit states, and then we're going to choose the new state button. And here's where you can tell Storyline what you want to name your state. Now you could call it you know, a custom name if you want to, but what we want to do instead is choose the built-in state called Visited because that way Storyline's going to know that as soon as the learner visits or clicks on that item, we want to show it in its visited state. So now that we've done that, we get to say what we want that visited state to look like. So initially this is going to look just like the normal state and all we need to do now is add that yes or no over the bottom portion of the sticky note. Now you could just type it in a text box. So I could come up here to the insert tab and draw a text box and type the word you know, right in there and format it how I want. Um, in my case though I actually used a graphic that you know looked like the word yes or no and the reason why I did that is because when you insert a graphic or a picture you can also change the transparency on it and I wanted mine to be partially transparent. So I've already got these graphics set up and what I'm going to do is choose the insert tab and then choose picture and then find the picture that I want to use. So here it is right here. It's this little um, PNG file. So I'll select it and click open. It gets inserted and then I'm going to move it into place here and I'm going to actually size it down a little bit so it's not quite so big. And then once I've got it where I want it, we can change the transparency. And to do that, what we're going to do is click in the corner of this um, on the format tab there's this picture styles part of the menu. We're going to click in the corner and then choose picture because that's what this is and then here's where we can change the transparency. So we can just drag this little slider a little bit and see how the transparency changes on our slide as we do that. So this looks about right about 64 percent and now we can close that out and we're done with that one. Now we could follow the same steps for this other one right here but um, a quicker way is to say that we're done editing the states and then just copy what we did to this other sticky. So I'm going to select the one that we just worked with and then in the Home tab I'm going to choose the Format Painter. That's going to copy all the formatting um, from this object and then we can click on another object to copy it. And Once we do you can see that now this one too has the same visited state. This one, this one to the left, has a different graphic on it because it says yes. So we can go through the steps to um, you know, apply the visited state to that. We'll say edit states, add a new state, we'll call it visited just like we did before. Click add and now we can go ahead and insert our graphic. So we'll say insert picture, here's the one that we want to use. And again we'll size it down a little bit so it fits nicely. Move it in, into place and now we'll also change the transparency on it a little bit. So in the corner we'll click here, choose picture, and then we'll drag that transparency up to about 60% I think it was, or 64. 61 looks fine too. We'll go ahead and close it out and now we're done editing the states. So now when we preview this, anytime the learner clicks on those post-its, they're going to see that visited state show up. So there's that one, there's that one, and there's that one. So I'll go ahead and attach a copy of this slide to your forum post, Dan, and you can kind of deconstruct and take a look at it um, if that helps. And I hope that you have fun using your visited states.